All right, guys, so this is gonna be our fourth video in the Scorcher series. Um, here, I'm gonna take Marcus and our Locust to trenches. Um, I have some ideas based on the first few videos on Old Town, and I guess I just wanna try them out and see how they work out. So again, we've learned a few things. Um, there's a bit of a bounce back effect, both on walls, on the ground. Um, I'm calling it After Flames. Uh, if you come up with a better name, let me know. We can change that because that's the best I got for now. Um, and so here, thinking about trenches, I know that the gun spawns inside the cave. And I'm really not sure, like, why that is. Um, so here I'm going to pick it up and I'm going to try working with it inside the cave just to see if maybe this is where it should be used. I imagine that this is where it should be used since this is where it spawns. So here, I'm going to get our locust to take cover and looking on Marcus's screen you can barely see uh, the locust gun right there and so here I'm just trying to see if maybe aiming past the the spot where the locust is on the side will actually score some damage um, again you can see that the after flames are appearing on Marcus's screen um, but it's not really doing a whole lot of damage and so again you can kind of see that you know the locust is in cover and here I want to see if the flame will actually go over that box or that pillar on the side. And so that's what I'm trying to do here. Kind of learned that from the last video on uh, Old Town against the wall in the sandbag. So, just testing it out. And then right around here is where we get some damage. And there it is, we actually get the full down right there. It takes a few pumps, but again, knowing that you can take an enemy out of cover with the Scorcher that way, it's pretty cool. I think it's really funny how the Locust jumps up right there too. Um, not sure why the, why the jump happened, but it did. So, here I'm getting an idea. I know that the other day I died because someone shot with the sawed off and I had planted the grenade nearby. Um, and it just ended up killing me. So I'm picking up the ink grenade. I'm going to stick it against the wall. And I'm going to get Marcus to just blast it with the Scorcher and see what happens. So I'm going to plant it there. I'm going to hide the Locust right behind it. I don't think he should be hurt by it. But, you know, we'll see, we'll see what happens. So I blast it. And sure enough, Locust gets hit by it. You know, it's taking a while to down him. Could have probably rolled back in that time. Um... But I'm walking around and I don't see any ink behind that pillar. The ink is all in front, so I'm not really sure how that works, but again, it's just helpful to know that it works. It's not really a scorcher thing, it's more of an ink grenade thing. I guess we'll save that for our ink grenade series. So another thing is that a lot of people like to hide up here in these spawn spots, and so I'm going to see if the scorcher is actually useful to get people you know, to get out of that spot. Um, and so I'm gonna move our Marcus up to the top and as you can see, the locust can't really be seen right here. And again, this is from an elevated position, so this is from the ground up. And so you can't really see the locust. Here I'm just taking some shots. You can kinda get the after flame effect to work, but he's not in range. And then right there, it finally gets him. Not a lot of damage, again, but it's a little bit. Might be enough to just jerk someone out of cover, have them run off to a different side, try something else. You know, after a few pumps, you can actually get them pretty high. I doubt anyone will ever sit in place for that long, but, you know, again, we're just trying to get someone to, to run out of cover. And then right there, we actually get a full cog with a single pump. So I'm going to try that again, and there it is. From low to high, um against I guess what would be considered a pillar of cover you can actually get a full cock of damage and if you hold it you can actually bring them down no surprise there We've got enemy reinforcements. so now I gotta bring the locust over and I kind of want to see how far up or how low down you can be with the Scorcher on the steps. Um, I just want to see what the distance is from Marcus to that tree. And so, oh, here comes the here comes the dust storm. 
so I'm just gonna have to wait it out. And I guess the next thing to try too is to actually sidle against the the tree trunk um, and see if that changes anything. And I'm just gonna take some random shots even though I can't really see anything. And again, that left bumper really helps out in the dust storm because you can see those outlines. I'm just kind of shooting around, seeing if we can get, can get some ideas just by using the scorcher here. I'm wondering what would happen here since there's two walls technically, but I guess we'll save that one for another video. So again, I think this is a spot where I was able to get the full circle of damage. And you can actually see the whole locust. Um, he's pretty exposed, even though he's technically in cover. Um, you can see his head, his gun, and you get some small damage there. The aiming cursor turns red, which lets you know that he's pretty exposed. I'm going to stand him up and see if that changes anything. It takes a little bit of damage. I think it's just better to stand against the wall, or the tree trunk, because uh, that leaves him less exposed. And so again, I'm just trying to find that magic spot that'll give us a full red circle of damage the cursor didn't even turn red and there it was right there and so now I want to see from the side where Marcus is and what it looks like and so that looks about right and that's what it looks like from the side and so that's actually quite a bit of range Marcus isn't even all the way up the steps or not even halfway up the steps from the bottom doesn't really look like anything and so before I run up I want to see just exactly where he is and it looks like he's right about the centerpiece actually um, and that circle right there on the wood is a pretty good indicator where you gotta be to get that full circle of damage running up here I notice this block here on the side I'll take a look at it in a little bit, but from the top, that's what it looks like. It actually covers quite a bit of range. So, now I'm going to leave the Locust against this block over here. Because, um, again, it doesn't look like it's a whole lot, but I want to see how good a piece of cover it is. Again, from the ground up, I'm not really able to score anything, kind of moving up a little bit, can't really see the locust in cover there, I'm kind of surprised by that because it looks like he should be easily hit and easily noticed, and so I'm just kind of getting a better feel for what it's like right here, and I think, well, maybe I should try hitting the ground, and get that after plane to, to go from the ground to the side not really happening though. I can see that the after fling is hitting that back wall, which makes me think, well, maybe the wall is where I should shoot at. So, just trying it a couple more times, and it seems like it's going to the side a little bit. But, it's not really damaging the locust. Like, the flames are getting to him, but it's not hurting him. So, gotta try something else. And so, aiming at him, I get the red cursor. Still no damage. Right here, I'm just covering him in flames, and don't get that much damage even though it seems like he should be really damaged so in that sense the scorcher can be really misleading um, I think that we can point the flame at someone but in the end we just don't really know how much damage the person is because as you saw it seems like the flames can touch the character without taking all the damage that the flame should do so again trying to get that right angle on the pump and then I notice this backboard here and just like in the last video on that sandbag against the wall, um, that backboard really seems to do the trick. It's getting a lot of damage in just a couple of pumps. And so as far as getting that damage, getting someone out of cover, I think we can do that here on this stage with the Scorcher. And then again, we get the dust storm, so we have to wait. Oops, 
curious to see how many melees it takes to down someone with the Scorcher. I wonder if it's any different. So let's go back to trying out that backboard action with the Scorcher. Right here, we just hold it. And after a little bit, we actually get the down. So... I doubt anyone will stay in, in one spot for that long, but if we can do it, or at least get them out of cover, you know, that'll score us what we want. And so that pretty much does it for this video. I think the biggest finding here is, again, you can use a sidewall as kind of a backboard to inflict a lot of damage.